Okay, so you've spent several weeks looking for your next camera and next lens to start your content creating journey. However, it doesn't stop there. You're then gonna have to acquire audio. Now, typically content creators will gravitate towards two types of microphones, the lavalier microphone or the shotgun microphone. Well, what are we using? What if we zoom out? We can see that I'm absolutely nowhere near where the camera was positioned. So of course, we're using a lavalier microphone. And if you wanted to use a shotgun microphone for one of these, we'd have had to have a sound recorder walk right next to me. Not that practical for this type of content. Therefore, let's have a look at what's gonna be best to use, the shotgun microphone or lavalier microphone, depending on what type of content you're shooting. A shotgun microphone, or sometimes referred to as a boom microphone, is a highly directional mic that captures sound from the front while reducing background noise. It is often mounted on a boom pole and operated by a dedicated sound recordist. Now, some of the advantages of the shotgun microphones are one, it's highly directional. This is one of the key advantages of a shotgun mic and their ability to capture sound from the direction in which they are pointed. This directional pickup pattern helps isolate the desired audio source and minimize unwanted background noise. So if you have an actor walking through a busy street with a shotgun mic pointed towards the actor, the primary audio captured will be of the actor's dialogue and movement and not of the crowd around. It's suitable for long distance recording. Shotgun microphones are designed to capture audio from a slight distance, making them ideal for situations where the sound source is not in close proximity to the camera. They're commonly used in film productions where the microphone can be positioned out of frame while capturing clear audio, unlike an omnidirectional news reporter microphone that needs to be close to the speaker's mouth. Of course, it is worth noting, however, that the closer you get the shotgun microphone to the actor, the better the audio is generally going to be. So don't take this point too literal. Multiple speakers. As a shotgun microphone is usually operated by a dedicated person, just one microphone can be used to record a narrative scene with multiple people as the sound operator can move the mic position between the speakers. GoGo -Go Gadget Microphone. There are numerous shotgun microphone accessories on the market that can help you achieve fantastic audio in the harshest conditions, just like this one. So the shotgun microphone is the go-to for filmmaking, narrative work, documentaries, because of its uh, directional pickup pattern, it helps eliminate a lot of background and unwanted noise. We're here at a very windy beach. The waves are crashing on the shoreline. And if I just move, so we're facing the sea directly, we're being bombarded with the wind. Because of the blimp, a tool which helps eliminate wind, uh, and because of the directional pickup pattern, all this microphone is picking up is my voice, the wind, the stream around us, and even the waves are being mitigated thanks to its unique design. However, there are some limitations to consider when using a shotgun microphone. First of all, they're gonna need a field mixer or a preamp at the very least in order to ensure high quality sound. I love this Mix Pre 6. However, it does burn through batteries like no tomorrow. Likewise, you can't just handle a shotgun microphone in the same way that you can attach a lavalier microphone to a shirt and be done with it. It needs special uh, equipment to hold in order to not transfer the vibrations uh, to the microphone. So if it's a windy situation, you're gonna need something like this. This is a blimp with a wind protector on it. If it's not windy, uh, you're still gonna need a pistol grip in order to remove even touching the microphone by itself. And then likewise, most uh, condenser microphones, once we move past the likes of the Rode video mic, they do have an XLR connection, not a 3.5 millimeter connection. So again, rem uh, negates the idea of attaching it to a mirrorless camera where you're gonna need something with an XLR input if you're not working with a camera like the C300 Mark III. A lavalier, or lapar microphone, is a small discrete microphone that can be easily attached to clothing or objects. It's commonly used in interviews, presentations, and situations where the subject needs to move around freely while maintaining consistent audio quality. You know, lavalier microphones are so great because of how versatile and small they are. I've been able to transport both the receiver and the transmitter in just the lens compartment of my mirrorless bag. And likewise, with the microphone, as you're able to position it on the clothing or an item of the person, it allows you to get the microphone right next to the source. Whereas that's not always possible with a shotgun microphone depending on your focal length. So for example, in this environment, it's rather noisy with the stream directly behind me. However, with the lavalier microphone, in positioning it 
right on my shirt like this. You may be able to notice an audible difference having now just switched to the lavalier microphone. However, there are a few issues that can come with using a lavalier mic. When using the lav mic, the microphone's proximity to the clothing can sometimes result in an unwanted noise caused by rubbing against fabric or cables. This can be mitigated though through careful placement and accessories such as microphone clips or tape. Visibility. While lavalier microphones are discreet, they may still be visible in frame, especially if the camera is positioned to reveal the microphone. Now this can be a consideration when aesthetic factors come into play or if you're trying to create a narrative piece. Connectivity issues. Wireless lavalier microphones rely on transmitters and receivers for communication, occasionally resulting in some connectivity issues depending on the type of model you have. So it's important to ensure that a reliable wireless system is in place for optimal performance. So with everything discussed, I guess now we're awaiting the verdict. Do we go for the shotgun microphone or do we go for the wireless lav system? You know, it's not as easy as choosing one or the other. And in fact, in a more professional situation, you'd want to be using both in order to get the best of both worlds. However, as a content creator starting their journey, I imagine that you're only in the financial position to choose one or the other. So it's going to depend on a lot of situation, on a lot of factors, sorry, such as your intended filming locations. Are you going to be out and about bustling on the street or are you going to be filming at home where there's more of a controlled environment? As such, like I, as I am here, I've got a shotgun microphone in order to bolster that better audio quality that isn't often found with a lav system. But if you are going to be making uh, content out on the city streets or perhaps as I was uh, gallivanting around the Welsh countryside, a lav system is going to be a lot better for you. Now, uh, talking of that, we have to think about crew size. Is it going to be just you as a solo operator creating vlog content or perhaps tutorials as I have been? Or are you going to be working with a crew of people with uh, uh, it, with the intention of making short films. If that's the case, well then there's gonna be an additional set of hands and hopefully a dedicated sound specialist in order to operate audio where you can opt towards the shotgun mic. But if it is just gonna be you, your mirrorless camera, well then it, you're gonna be better off looking with the wireless lav system. As noted, you can just set it up on the camera hit record and not have to worry about mic positioning because there is another factor to consider and that is with the shot compositions. If you are a solo operator and you're filming yourself, well then you are very much constricted to the direction that the mic is pointed, situated on top of the camera. If you have a lavalier microphone, you're gonna be able to walk around throughout the composition, whether it's an extreme wide angle or a very tight shot, without worrying about the loss of audio. And then finally, we do have to consider budget, because both systems range from an entry level price up into the thousands. Uh, you know, we could be looking at 800 pound for an entire wireless lav system, or, £2,000 for a single shotgun microphone. It's gonna really depend on where you are with your budget and what you're looking to do with your content. Personally, if you are looking for just a single answer, I would definitely opt towards the wireless lav system. It's gonna offer you a lot more flexibility than the shotgun microphone. But if you are an aspiring filmmaker, more so than an aspiring content creator, then definitely gravitate towards the shotgun mic as that is where it excels. So, with all that being said, I have been Lewis with Fedivo. I hope you've learned a lot throughout this video. Remember to subscribe, leave us a comment, and we'll catch you guys next week.